huge potential bargain. What's up investors and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Gevo Inc. This stock is traded on the Nasdaq under the ticker GEVO. This company has all the potential in the world but has dropped from highs of over $15 down now to just about $7. So today we'll be looking at what Gevo do, their potential market and look at their investors presentation. I will look at the huge news that's seen this stock flying up over 35% this week before a small pullback today. I will look at the ownership structure and what major investment firms are backing this stock to be a winner. This is definitely worth sticking around for. I will look at the most recent financials and assess if the company has the resources to achieve its goals or will they need to dilute. I will also look at insider trading, analyst price targets, potential of a short squeeze and much more so stick around until the end. Before we get into the video, it takes a lot of time to do this research, so if you find any value in this video, can I ask you to smash that like button? It literally costs you nothing, but it helps me out so much. My previous GVO video has over 120 likes. Can I get 200 likes on this video? Help me make it happen. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content like this. It's 100% free and a great way to show your support for the channel. And if you want free money, consider opening a Webull trading account using my referral link, deposit $100 and get two free shares worth up to $2,000. What do you think of Givo? Have you invested and what price target do you have? Do you believe in this company in the long term? Or are you here for short term gains or the potential short squeeze? I want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Now let's get into it. Givo is a renewable chemicals and advanced biofuels company. Focused on sustainability, Givo addresses the market need for reducing greenhouse gas emissions with sustainable alternatives and is commercializing the next generation of biofuels with diesel, gasoline and jet fuel that have the potential to achieve zero carbon emissions. Givo uses low carbon renewable resource based carbohydrates as raw materials and is developing renewable electricity and renewable natural gas for use in production processes, resulting in low carbon fuels with substantially reduced carbon intensity. Their products perform as well if not better than traditional fossil based fuels in infrastructure and engines with the substantially reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Givo believes that its proven patented technology enabling the use of variable and low carbon sustainable feedstocks to produce price competitive low carbon products. In addition to addressing the problems of fuels, Givo's technology also enables certain plastics such as polyester to be made from more sustainable ingredients. Givo currently operates two main plants, a biorefinery in Texas in collaboration with South Hampshire Resources Inc. to produce renewable jet fuel, octane and ingredients for plastics like polyester, and a plant in Minnesota that is situated among the cornfields. This ethanol plant was built to capitalize on the government regulations that encourage the use of ethanol, blend stock and gasoline. Givo have modified the plant to produce isobutanol. When the corn from the cornfield gets to plant, it is separated into its components and the starch goes into the fermentation process to produce biofuel, while the protein becomes animal feed that is fed back to the cows and used then to produce gas. Here we can see this basic diagram of the company's structure from plants and CO2 all the way through to fuel. Givo produces a range of products such as gasoline, diesel, isobutanol, ethanol, across a wide range of markets such as the marine, agriculture, the airline industry and the automotive industry, providing Givo with an enormous total addressable market of 88 billion gallons per year. So just yesterday, Givo announced a huge deal whereby Givo and Chevron announced a letter of intent to jointly invest in building and operating one of the new facilities that would process inedible corn to produce sustainable aviation fuel. This will help lower the life cycle carbon intensity of fuel used in the aviation industry. The new facilities would also produce proteins from corn oil. Using Givo's technology, the plan is to produce sustainable aviation fuel and renewable blending components for motor gasoline. Now, what's probably the most important thing from this is that they are investing in building and operating one or more facilities. The key word here being one or more. So if this joint venture proves to be successful, they will expand to more facilities. And considering that this is Chevron, one of the world's largest energy companies, there could be massive scope in this plan. Chevron will have the right to offtake approximately 150 million gallons per year to market to customers, which is already a huge number. According to Executive Vice President for Chevron, Mark Wilson, this potential investment leverages Givo's innovative approach 
to producing sustainable aviation fuel, which complements their other renewable fuel investments as part of Chevron's higher returns, lower carbon strategy. And Patrick Gruber of Givo said Chevron's advantage market position would allow it to offtake production from this venture, helping to place sustainable aviation fuel with airline customers. For anyone that is in doubt of just how big of a deal this is or just how big of a company Chevron really are, look at this. Chevron are the third largest oil and gas company in the world. So this deal brings fantastic scope for the future. And this follows on from earlier this week where Givo announced that it plans to install an alcohol to hydrocarbon process pilot unit at its Laverne facility. The pilot unit is being designed to produce market development quantities of sustainable aviation fuel, renewable premium gasoline, other renewable fuel products as well as provide capability to supply market development quantities of chemical products. The installation is estimated to begin in Q3 2022 with startup demonstration production expected in Q4 next year. In addition, we expect to test and evaluate certain potential unit operations that may be incorporated into GIVO's state-of-the-art Net Zero One production facility that is expected to begin production in 2024. I spoke about this Net Zero One facility in my last GIVO video, so I won't repeat myself here. But they plan to use the new pilot capabilities to support the pipeline of new renewable fuel and chemical projects in the future, which is also the first step in converting Laverne into a hydrocarbon facility. What is a real positive here is that GIVO have been rehiring multiple former employees since the beginning of August at their Laverne facility and plan to hire additional employees. It's always good to see, but the company has begun the process of, of raising staff levels. This shows that this is not just meaningless PR statements, but they are making genuine progress. Now, it's always great to see a company that has got huge plans, but having the resources to be able to turn these plans into a reality is vital. So let's look at the most recent financial results released just a few weeks ago to analyze where Givo are really at. Looking at the balance sheet, we can see that Givo has total assets of 685 million and total liabilities of just 109 million. This gives them an asset to liability ratio of six to one. Assets are largely made up of cash and marketable securities, which in total amount to over 500 million, meaning that the company is in a very strong position financially. Looking at the income statement, we can see that Givo has very little by way of revenue and after deducting all expenses, the company has a net loss for the quarter of $18 million and a loss of $28 million for the six month period. It's worth noting here that Givo is still a pre-revenue stage company and for companies like this, large losses are to be expected and it's vital to have a strong cash position and a strong balance sheet. Considering that Givo currently have over 500 million in cash and securities, then they have plenty of cash runway to last into the coming years. Which is something that I love to see in companies that have big ambitions. They have the cash needed to fund their development to accomplish their ambitions. And this company is moving forward without massive setbacks and achieving the goals that they have set for themselves. Whilst also announcing contracts and partnerships with some of the world's largest companies. This is fantastic to see. Over the past couple of months, as I have watched this stock drop from such a high point, there has been increasing talk of the possibility of a short squeeze. And as we can see here, the short interest over time has been quite high over the course of this year and days to cover has been increasing quarter by quarter up to 3.5 recently. There is quite a sizable percentage of the float shorted at around 13.8%. So this could be a possibility. If you've been watching my videos over the past few months, you will know that I like to see companies that have large institutional ownership. And as we can see here, over the past six months, there has been a huge amount of institutional investment in Givo. Currently about 36% of the company is owned by institutional investors with over 300 million investments so far this year. Of this, we can see that major institutions such as State Street Corp, BlackRock, Vanguard and Invesco Limited have been heavily increasing their positions in Givo. Givo is currently rated as a buy with an average analyst price target of 1467, which offers more than 100% increase from the current price of 702. And we can see that the current market capitalization is $1.38 billion with very strong volume averaging at over 18 million shares. 
Looking at the chart over the past year, we can see that Jivo was trading at around $1 in December 2020 before it began to rise hitting its peak of over $15 in February before the market correction sent the majority of growth stocks tumbling and we can see here that the stock had been moving downwards since then going below $5 in August before gaining back to about 6 this week before Jivo released news and seen a huge spike up looking closer we can see over the past 3 weeks the stock has been moving very much in this upward channel we can see we had this spike up here on the 24th of August and then again on the 27th of August another spike up before the stock had began to move sideways until September 9th. So then yesterday we had this huge jump from below $6 up to over $8 and despite dropping back to only $7 today I expect that next week we will see this to continue to rise again. So guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Before I give you my final thoughts, if you've watched all the way through, then hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. And if you don't have a Webull account, you can sign up using my referral link, deposit $100 and you will get two free stocks worth up to $2,000. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Follow me on Twitter and join the Facebook group. All links below. So what do I think? I think this company is seriously undervalued right now. With Jivo currently having a market cap of less than 1.4 billion and the fact that they have over half a billion in cash and securities alone is incredible. Then they have huge institutions like Morgan Stanley and BlackRock investing in Jivo and institutions that have been actively buying shares with over 200 million dollars worth bought up in the last quarter alone. That is more than one eighth of the company bought by institutional investors in just one quarter. That says so much about where Jivo is going. Then they are signing partnerships with the likes of Chevron, one of the world's largest oil and gas companies, and I can only see the positives here. But this is just my opinion, and if you are thinking of investing in this company, I encourage you to do your own research and decide if this is the right investment for you. This is not without risk. This is still a growth stage company with no revenue of note, so it is a risky investment, but it also has the potential to be a very high reward investment. What do you think of Jivo? What is your price target? Leave a comment down below. As I said before, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.